Tonight, 30-year-old Jacob Barroso is behind bars, charged with the murder of 25-year-old Julio Ramirez, who was drugged and killed last spring after visiting a gay bar in New York City's Hell's Kitchen, according to police. In a separate incident, an unidentified victim survived. Ramirez had left the bar with three unidentified men before family says his bank account was drained of nearly $20,000. There's relief in our community that justice is being served. But New York City Council member Eric Botcher says they're concerned about the deadly trend. We're encouraging everyone to be vigilant and to be safe. Turn off your facial recognition on your phone. The medical examiner ruled Ramirez's death homicide by drug facilitated theft after finding multiple drugs in his system, including fentanyl, lidocaine and cocaine. 33-year-old John Umberger was a political consultant. He, too, was drugged, robbed, then killed after visiting a New York City gay bar last spring, police say. We are hurting. It's, um, it, it's been hard. His mother connecting the dots with Ramirez's murder after seeing this NBC News article, telling our Stephanie Gosk that she started looking into her son's credit card activity. Nothing added up. According to the indictment, once the victims were incapacitated, the co-conspirators would steal their cell phones and credit cards and transfer the money to themselves. NBC News has spoken with several gay men who said they survived similar incidents from December 2021 to October 2022. Barroso's arrest comes shortly after police requested the public's assistance on Friday to find him and two other suspects, Jaquan Hamilton and Robert DeMaio. Barroso has not been charged in the death of Umberger. No suspect has been named in his killing. Two law enforcement sources tell NBC News that the suspects were targeting victims for financial gain and not because of their sexual orientation. However, the city's hate crime task force is assisting in the investigation and New York bar patrons are being warned. Dana Griffin, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.